So the essence, the nature, the mind can never be measured. Okay, so this, that's one way to look at it. Uh, another way you can look at it, I can, I can say, well, this is glasses, right? This is the bell, this is the cup. So somehow you can look at these things, you can name them, name them. So you can say you're labeling them, you're measuring them. It's okay. In, in a way, it's okay. But measuring self, it's not okay. That's a different. Object, object, maybe there's a need to measure it, it's okay, but the subject as a mind cannot be measured. If you're trying to measure it, then that becomes a problem. That's why it says, that's why one thing people say, don't conceptualize. Okay, the idea of not conceptualizing, we understand, right? So usually, we can say, well, if you don't conceptualize, then nothing's going to happen, right? Like if you make, we're trying to make a building. If you're not trying to conceptualize, the building's not going to happen there. Might happen, but it might look... <laughs> it might, you don't know what it will look like. It doesn't happen even when you conceptualize, you know. <laughs> yeah. So in externally, you conceptualize. In some sense, I think it's okay as far as, 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 far, I say, as much as it's more sense of a playfulness, a flexibility, because uh, it's not just because of fun of being playful. The playfulness gives more opportunity, more possibility, more freedom, more flow, more space to breathe more place to connect, more place to be kind with each other, more, more place to have a compassion to somebody. That's the, what playfulness gives, right? And it serves, in a way, it serves a functioning matter also. But this sub, s, conceptualizing subject, like saying, for example, some conceptualizing subject is a problem when I say, and I'm, when, let's say I'm, in a, I'm singing the mantra, ah, Sound is somehow the energy of the sound, the power of the mantra is just helping me to enter in that beautiful space. That space is there, I said, three A is there, Saliva is there, Ayam Omdu is there, base, path, the creation, everything there. I'm there, and suddenly it's so much beautiful there, and then I say, oh, this is it. This is the nature of mind. That looks like awareness. <laughs> that looks like a light. That looks like a, what is it? What is it? What was it? Oh, fruition. <laughs> and so you internally you conceptualize the essence itself. The moment you conceptualize the essence itself, you guarantee you don't know it. The moment you think you know it, you don't know it. You just lost the moment you conceptualize. That's, that is the most important definition of immeasurable. Meaning of immeasurable means you don't try to measure it. It's already measured. Right? Its measurement is boundlessness. That's called view. So when you're trying to measure it, boundless becomes immediately bound, bounded. And then when it becomes a bounded, your experience is limited. Your experience is limited. You, 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 you don't have understanding of the base. If you don't have understanding of the base, you don't have the path. If you don't have the path, you cannot expect result. Just forget about everything. That's what it's saying, right? Mm -hmm.